Hello guys, today we will be looking at the Mutant Creatures mod, showing you how to install it and what's it all about. So, uh, first of all you need to download these three items, uh, Forge, Mutant Creatures and the Animation API. So this is very important to get all three, make sure they're all at the same version, and if it doesn't work, make sure try changing the build of Forge, because I know that can be a bit difficult sometimes. So first of all you want to uh, double click Forge, make sure it opens with, um, what is it, jo Java something or other, open with, uh, yes, Java platform SE binary. So uh, uh, double click that, uh, hopefully it should be automatic, but if it's not, just set it as that. Uh, install client, if you want the server you, you can do that, but install client, it should be already be on your Minecraft folder, uh, do this, and ok, so that is done, goodbye, don't need that anymore. Um, now we're just left with these two. So now I'm going to want to run it for the first time. Uh, open up your Minecraft launcher. Um, there we go. And uh, here you're going to type in your username and password and uh, click login. And then Forge will be here. And when it says ready to play Minecraft Forge, you click play. It will load up. Hopefully you won't have a black screen or errors. Uh, it's taking a bit of time to load up. But here we go, black screen, and it's gone, Mojang. And now we have a couple of different things. So mod is here, and uh, there's no mods currently. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look much different apart from this V, which means we're enough. And let's close this down and go uh, into um, dot .minecraft. So if you type in percent app data percent, uh, and then go to roaming, like so, and this will pop up. So just go into your .minecraft and here you'll see a mods folder which probably wasn't there before. So if you double click this it'll be empty. However if you grab these and put them in here that's done. That's just as easy as that really. So let's go in game and uh, I'll show you what this mod is all about. So now that we are in game I'm going to show you what the new mobs are and how to get them. So here we have the crafting recipe for this potion it's called chemical X and uh, when this splashes a mob uh, it will have a certain amount of chance to make them a mutant creature so here we go it's uh, four obsidian like so uh, and in the middle there is one water bottle then it gives you chemical X so let's spawn a couple of creepers like so and uh, fire um, one chemical X at all of them and hopefully we'll be yep there we go so first one and the second one but not the third one unfortunately so here we go we have two mutant zo <laughs> mutant grievers god they look hideous don't they oh my gosh so um not only are there mutant creature uh creepers but there are also a mutant skeleton which is really cool it's got a crossbow an armor and uh some other things there's also a mutant snow golem here we go look how cool he looks there are uh, creeper minions, which um, these make, and mutant endermen. So they are going to add more, but these are the only ones at the moment. And I'm going to get into um, what their attacks are. And uh, yeah, so if I go in game mode zero, um, we will see that they will probably t try to attack us. So, ooh, one of them's tried to attack us. Right, let's go see the skeleton first. So here, um, he's got a few attacks. He can open his rib cage and um, push you away with it. He can also shoot you with arrows, which you can see there, uh, which give you uh, blindness and slowness, possibly even poison. It just depends on um, what he shoots at you. Um, you can see that Enderman. Uh, throw blocks at you, uh, up to four, and grow four arms instead of two um, when, well, when you go near them. So at the moment I've got protection four armor on and I'm getting killed a bit. So I'm going to go in, hop into creative mode, grab myself um, 64 odd uh, apples and go back into survival. Come at me chaps, come at me. So um, hopefully this should protect me from uh, any harm, but let's go... Um, find this creeper and see what he does. So, uh, hello Mr. Creeper. So creepers have a special attack where they jump up in the air and uh, cause an explosion to happen. Um, if I can just make him do that, come on, jump. 
So at the moment he's just hitting me. There's one of those minions that explode like normal creepers. And now this one is going to explode. Oh, that was crazy. Um, and now it's got rid of my um, absorption. So um, it also has a creeper egg. So this is really cool. Uh, where's it gone? Oh, oh, there it is. It's above me. <laughs> Wearing a king creeper. Um, so uh, let's have a look at the. Oh no, you know you don't. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Snow Golem. So these are passive. But they're not attacking me. Uh, they do attack other mobs. So if I hop back into creative mode and uh, just get maybe um, skeleton. We should see it attack. Uh, it throws blocks of ice. There you go. Uh, I'll actually spawn a spider because they don't burn in uh, sunlight. And they throw blocks of ice. Um, they have um, snow where they walk, just like um, normal snow golems. And finally, if you want to heal them, because they do get hurt, um, you can just simply uh, fire snowballs at them, and that will give them more health. So this is a really interesting uh, way of healing them. I really like it. So that is most of the, m of the mod. Uh, if you're in creative mode, you can go onto this page and uh, spawn in the creatures like so. Um, like this, uh, with spawn eggs. You could even sell them in a shop. Um, if you had uh, this on the server, there's um, the skeleton, the mutant skeleton that we just killed, and basically it drops uh, lots of armor pieces, which if you right click, you'll get them. So uh, let's grab them all. And uh, I believe you can actually wear these, because uh, you can get them in here as well. So uh, if you kill an Enderman, you get uh, an Enderman's soul hand, which is really, really cool. And there's also um, some other bits and bobs. There's a creeper shard, which, oh my god, explosion. <laughs> Whoa. This is absolutely crazy. I, I don't know if you can... Uh, holy... <laughs> um, I'm, I'm interested to see whether that actually hurts me. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's run out of power. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, there's a normal creeper. Uh, right, so um, before I go, um, I'm going to grab one of those. Uh, grab one of these. And uh, just get rid of this. Don't need it. Right, so um, let's go over here. Fire Chemical X at him. Will he become a big um, mutant or will he die? That's the question. He... is he gonna... Right, he died. Uh, let's get the Diamond uh, Creeper Shard and right click. So it doesn't appear that we get hurt. I have got um, Protection 4 on, so that's interesting. And uh, finally, there is a Hulk Hammer. So if I use this, uh, left clicking, just normal damage you right click um, you get this nice particle so let's go to the snow golem I'm sorry but uh, I'm going to have to attack you you right click it, it does a lot lot of damage so uh, that's quite interesting there are a couple more things I'm going to show you first of all uh, this is the mutant zombie uh, it's basically uh, a hulk version of the zombie it has a lot more health and it's uh, very powerful as you will see when it starts attacking me, it throws you up in the air, it dives down on you, and oh my gosh, I haven't got any armor on. Oh my, quick, quick, put on the armor, put on the armor, put on the armor. Where is he? Oh my, hello. So I'm getting hunger from him. Uh, he's attacking me, and he's throwing me up and smashing me. So that's quite interesting. And uh, another thing is the Ender Soul Hand, which you can get from killing Endermen. Basically, it does two things. If you shift and right click and look somewhere, it will teleport you, uh, which is really nice. So that's awesome. So let's go over to this tree over here, uh, into the swamp, into the house. So that's really cool. Um, what else can it do? Well, you can right click, uh, pick up a block like an enderman, and throw it by right clicking again. And uh, this does splash damage, and it, I believe it does six block. Uh, six hearts of damage so uh, it can kill in one to two hits so that's really awesome depending on what mob you're firing at but uh, <laughs> this is actually really funny <laughs> and uh, finally um, when you kill one of those mutant skeletons you can get their armor if you put it on you can look really really awesome so uh, let me just put it on here 
yeah, look how cool I look. So that's really cool. And you get speed and jump boost as well. So yeah, uh, that has been the Mutant Creatures mod. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, help me get to 2,000 subscribers. Or if I'm already there, help me get to 5,000. And yeah, um, comment down below what mod you want to see next. And I'll see you next Sunday. Ta-ra.